Welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Travel. We are gonna do one last thing before we finish up here with Rise of the Tomb Raider. That is the Baba Yaga DLC. So to my understanding, the DLC isn't that long. I think it's maybe an hour long. So I reckon we can get it all done in the video. We'll see. Um, I have actually, actually, I don't really know what to expect with the DLC, to be honest. Um, I didn't even know that I owned it to begin with, but I think it's worth a look anyways. Kitty? Are you a snow leopard? What? I think you're the only cat. Sorry, you're the second... You're the second cat I've seen in this game. No, no, jump, fool. You'll live, probably. Really? I'm out of leaves? <laughs> oh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Bad cat. I think he's a snow leopard. I'm not sure. I have never seen one in this game. All right. Also, sorry I called you a, a bitch. Ah, uh, yeah, into darkness. There's a trail here, well worn. Okay. I guess I don't really give a shit about coins anymore. I'll just pick up this and we'll go in. Okay. Any more cats? So I believe we had to talk to someone to trigger the DLC. Do you remember they were like hiding in a locker? Laura, I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. Sure. Frozen Gorge. Righto. Oh, I don't need to use the campfire. What more can you tell me about the wicked veil, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the veil. But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them mad. <laughs> Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Excuse me? Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch <clears throat> killed her, and he's never forgotten that. But... Oh. Sorry to interrupt your conversation, but I was too busy dying. Oops. <laughs> uh, do you guys want to keep talking? Whoops. Oh, now they're not talking anymore. <laughs> well, I guess I'll never hear the rest of that dialogue. Something about a witch. Baba Yaga. <clears throat> Grandma dying to her, etc., etc. Shit. Steady. Uh huh. <laughs> Voice of God. Laura, hang on. I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. Come here. We need immediate extraction. Shit. What the hell is that? It's walking. Fuck. What the? Right. Did you hear that? That was the witch. <laughs> Something's definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. Not weird. Um. I guess. Which way am I going? Probably this way. I'm guessing. 
That's a shortcut back. If I need it. Oh. Oh. Lordy. Oh, you could go a bit further. the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. Well, why wouldn't I, though? It seems interesting. I want to look. Why would you tell me not to go in here? This is very interesting. Heaps of stuff in here. How dare you tell me to not go in here? Sculpture of wind and rock. We would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all. But most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains. No food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself. But the scout heard the sound and took it to be a sign. He alone ascended these cliffs, drawn by the music. And from there, he saw our salvation. This is not just a shrine to him and his bravery, but to the strength of our faith. The Scout, voice of God, in praise of a long dead scout who led the prophet through these mountains. Hmm, this was some sort of a shrine. Pilgrims came here to show their respect. Probably. Okay, that's blowing. What this do? There. At least this counterweight still works. Okay. Damn. The counterweight. All right. Is stuck. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, I could have sworn she told us that don't go into the temple, but seems kind of interesting. That might be a bit too high. Yes. Too high. Is that something that can be broken? No. Oh no, you just left up. Very well. Oh, I think this just has to be a bit lower. Maybe? Yes. That looks better. If you say so. I might need to time this with the wind. Do you think? No. <laughs> Hang on. I probably just have to. You said it was at the right level before. God damn you. Hey god. Jesus. Mm-hmm. I did see that, by the way. 
They say you never forget the first time you hear the sound. My parents took me here to contemplate the mysteries from beyond the shrine. In time, I will bring my children here. They say that without the music of the mountains, our ancestors would have wandered the earth until they died. But instead, these mountains called them home. Just as it calls to me. Mountain song, voice of God, a pilgrim reflects on visiting the shrine. This must have been an important place for them. Probably. All right, uh, door. Oh, 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 what? I've got to get through that door. <laughs> what? We just did, woman. It's a natural formation. Is it? You know. Let's take a look. That's kind of cool. So I think that's all the tombs done, actually. It's a codex. This one is a series of meditations on willpower. Inner strength? Yeah, I got Tomb Raider achievement. <laughs> Inner strength. If critical injuries are sustained in battle, indicated by the screen turning gray, health will automatically restore. Oh. This instant regeneration of health will occur only one time per combat encounter and will refresh between encounters. That could have been useful later. Well, before, not later. All right, that's done. But yeah, the formations are cool. That's kind of dope, actually. Okay, uh, I guess we'll keep doing what Nadia tells us to do. The Wicked Veil isn't far now. Just head down that wooden walkway along the cliff. You insist. A ceremonial Ooh. cloth worn by priests during mass. Uh, I'm not sure how you say this one. Manip- manipels? Manipels? Tokens of faith. Sorry, I probably butchered that word. I'm gonna run just in case this breaks. You guys need to get better at building bridges. Oh god, that was such an awkward swing. There's a small camp here. Sounds like Grandpa made it that far at least. You're almost into the veil. Right on. Hello, DLC. Ooh. Maybe this has its own tomb? Yeah? Chasing Grandpa? Search the, search the Wicked Veil for Nadia's missing Grandpa. I think I found your Wicked Veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. I'm sure it's fine. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the Vale to kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley. Armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want. But I know, if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth. To know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the West, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in the big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. Okay, dear Nadia, grandfather's journal. Grandfather Ivan must have written this for Nadia. Sounds like grandpa may have been with the Soviets by the sounds of it. 
but he changed his way when he met Grandma. Guess that's just a guess though. His name is Ivan, so it does imply Russian, right? Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, but this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours. Initial contact, Bravo's end. A dispatch from Bravo team before they entered the veil. Right off. I'm guessing they died. What the hell? <coughs> uh, some sort of pollen drifting in here. <coughs> Flowers. <coughs> what did you say? What did you say? Drugs. I can't understand you. Something's wrong. My head is spinning. Oh no. Oh no. It's 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 too late. This is where the Do I need to take out my gun? It actually won't let me. I'm guessing we're just hallucinating. Oh. No, uh. Must be dreaming. Is it real? I can't be. That's the creepiest thing I've seen in this game so far, and it was in a DLC. Just keep moving. Let's just turn into a horror game. <laughs> Laura, Laura. Dad? No, it can't be. No, wait. I'm close now, I'm close now, I'm close now. Wait, where am I? How, how far does this path go? Come here. It's not real, not him. Dad. Stop! Please don't! God! No! I've got to get out of here! Okay. What? There is a truth behind all of this. I just want to leave, please. Oh my goodness. No. No, this isn't. Okay. Damn, that was actually pretty good. What the fuck? That's not possible. It's just a myth. You're on drugs, Laura. I'm sorry, Laura. There is no return. You're going to rot out here. Is Nadia the witch? Perhaps? Yeah. This is actually pretty good. I'm gonna have to fight the chicken, aren't I? What the fuck? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck you die, bitch. Oh my god. Oh, God, don't. 
I think I'm running away. Come, your father awaits. Not me. Okay. Laura! Laura! Can you hear me? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. I think. What happened? You started coughing, said something about flowers and pollen, and then nothing. I thought the witch had killed you. I think I was hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There, there is a flower in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. Okay, search the cavern Any for idea clues. What this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. What the hell are you doing, Laura? It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar, and they brought her here to help with her research, but that was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer, who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. That's worrying. Okay. That's like the most interesting thing I've seen in this entire game. I'm gonna be honest. my daughter they took her from me on the surgeon's table I tried to fight but they are many and I am weary then they dragged me away split our three hearts apart they have taken me to a hidden vale where ancient ruins stand they tell me if I cooperate I will see my family again I will never trust these monsters but I do not have a better plan there are curious flowers here Exposure to the pollen has left my captors rattled, and they will go no further than our little outpost. They brought me here in the hopes that my expertise in botany would help them find a counter-agent. <laughs> At last, the state has a use for me. I nod and smile. I play the part. But they cannot break me again. For my daughter. For Ivan. I will live. Torn apart, a prisoner's dilemma. They took everything from Seraphima. Is the grandmother? Yeah, that's the grandmother's journal, or the grandma is the witch. Righto. Jump up there? No. No. Oh, come on, get that. Good job. Someone's been in here recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit. Of course. She's refining the pollen, recognizing it. There's no magic here, Nadia, just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. Okay. Hang on, I'm just opening the door. I think I got it. Uh, it's 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 open, miss. <laughs> you big dumb. Oh. Uh, it's been oh. weeks since these bastards dragged me from the gulag, from Ivan and my daughter, to this strange vale. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant. The liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins. A phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. It may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic, bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. 
The formula, the prisoner's dilemma. Research notes from a familiar Soviet prisoner tasked with discovering a cure for the hallucination. hallucinations. I found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her and now she's gonna help save grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Laura. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. I guess so. Oh, I'm back here. Oh, you want me to actually meet up with you? Oh, okay. Do you have anything to say? To what? What saw. I went inside the wicked fail looking for Nadia's grandfather. I barely escaped with my life. It was like a fairy tale with a broken, filthy mirror. And, Dad, I know intellectually it was all in my mind, but the gunshot is still ringing in my ears. There's something terrible going on in there, and while I don't believe that it is magic, it is extraordinary. I have to find out what's behind all this, but first, I have to find a way to see clearly. Okay. That was a little bit quiet. Oh, gosh. That was a bit quieter than usual. Um... I guess that's everything here. I could have... Oh, where was she? I guess I just have to go here. Here, I'll, I'll fast forward to this one. So it looks like we're gathering ingredients and then we're probably coming back to take care of the witch, I suppose. I still think the witch is probably the grandmother. We'll see. We'll just have to grab everything. So said some livers from animals. Something you can find at the gulag and something else. I forgot. We'll see. All right, Nadia, I'm back at the installation. Any advice on where to start looking? Okay, first, the seed pots. The flowers grow inside the caves around there. There's never enough of them to make you sick, so you should be able to gather some safely. The livers should be easy. The deer around there feed on the flowers, so you'll just need to track them down. As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find some. Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifests to see if I can find out where they stored it. I'll let you know when I find it. All right, I'll start gathering the other supplies now. Mm-hmm. Oh, are they? Hang on, is, are these good guys? Hello. Sorry. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't attack you. My bad. <laughs> Hello. Oh, do you want to chat? You've seen the mine by the old Soviet facility? Many I've seen a lot of things. Man, if I just take oil from this grave? Awkward. It's the flowers. Just need the seed pods now. Uh, okay. Hi. You're back. Oh, it's this dude. We've helped him out before. You could use me. Well, I'm a little busy. It's what I want. Not in here. I guess not. Okay. Well, maybe I already have what I need. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Making the antidote seed pods collected. Huh. Are there any more in here? Maybe not? Oh. Okay, good, good. I'm glad I came back Laura, in here. I got something you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. We haven't gotten any transmissions since the distress call. We're gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved in Bravo's disappearance somehow. We need better intel before we send more of you in there. Copy that. Can you get somewhere safe? I'm in one of those old safe houses and I have stairs set outside. Worst case, there's a tunnel underneath I can use to escape, but I still need to finish going over the manifest. Is this normal for you, Laura? I'm not used to it. You know, people trying to kill me. 
I don't think it's something you can get used to. Just stay safe. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm wearing a tank top, and it's in the snow. Bloody show off. Oh, I guess I haven't been in here before. Weird. I feel like she needs more muscle. Like, she's such a strong person for doing all this rock climbing and stuff, but she doesn't have, like, these bulging muscles to show. It's weird. I've almost got all the... Seed pods. What the hell is this? Just want seed pods. Okay, that should be the last one. I guess I better just see what the hell this is while Damien, I'm in here. The Dear livers. Forward. Is this like a crypt, maybe? Just trying to understand. Hopefully there's just a shortcut out of here. Cities are not built on plans alone. There must be material. And there must be someone who knows how to build. Damien was that man. They say he could muster brick from nothing more than a handful of dirt and a tinderbox. They say his craftsmanship was divinely inspired. It is his hand that gave form to the architect's dreams. Damien, the prophet's forge, crypts of the founders. Building a city like Katesh would take many skills and talents. The prophet lauded every contribution. La -la. Is this anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to just find a way out of here. More pods that I don't need. Yeah, it's not even gonna let me grab him. Ooh, this is nice. Uh, ancient bow part. I don't care all that much. I mean, we're about to finish the game anyways. Okay, I'll just get the hell out of here. And I'll get back on track with the DLC. I was just curious more than anything. Okay. Uh, I know about supply shacks. Alright, let's get out of here. Got sidetracked. Okay, I guess I've never been in a crypt before. That's cool. But yeah. So, I think we're getting liver next. So, from deers. Do they have to be alive? Does it matter? Yeah. Ooh. God, that was awkward. The thing is being highlighted. Uh, okay, there's something right next to me. Oh, there is a campfire just there. What was that I saw? Ally? Oh, I don't care about the allies. Screw the allies. Alright, I just need to get back on track with what I'm doing here. I'm guessing I just have to look for some deer that's here. Yeah. Alright, turn around. Gotcha. God, I've been walking around for like five minutes and there's just no deer. Okay, one. <laughs> Still have to find another one. Alright. Okay. 
Gotcha. Goodness. You know what I had to do? <laughs> um, I couldn't get... <laughs> Hang on. Thiazine. I think I found it. They stored it in the lower levels of the copper mill where they used it to deal with the termites in the summer. Are you sure it's the same chemical, Nadia? I'm sure it's the chemical grandmother's recipe mentioned, but I am not sure that it will be safe to drink. Suppose we'll find out. I'll head there now. Awesome. Yeah, um, there was just no deer spawning. So what I had to do is I actually um fast traveled um to and from just to try and get the deers to respawn, and they did, luckily. So, there you go. If you can't find any deers, we're having trouble finding some deers. Just fast travel out and come back. Kind of a pain in the ass, though, to be honest, but it's fine. At least you only needed two. Alright, so, last thing. What did she say we needed? Insecticide? We'll see. Jacob and the source are gone, Anna and Constantine are dead, and Trinity's forces are here broken. Forces here are broken. How have they left yet? Is Trinity still here? <sighs> oh. Should I cut down the flag? Whatever. Yeah. Round of seven. I thought it matters much these days. Okay, did I never break this open? I guess I didn't. Where am I? I don't think this is the right way. I think I'm, I'm guessing I need to travel a bit more. Hang on. Maybe just go through this area again. It looks like it might be in here. Oh, there? Good. That's not too far away. This one? Found it. I'm mixing the ingredients now. Any word on that patrol? Not very Just good at mixing. Transmission. They're on the move. Where are they now? They're... Oh, no. They're headed straight for you. You might be able to sneak past them, but it's probably too late. Sorry, Laura. Why are you guys still here? Return to the Wicked Veil. Oh, really? There's still enemies around. I would like to leave. Who is still around that needs to go away? Maybe if I run far away, it'll be fine. Just go away. I just need to go back to the Vale anyways. Is that good enough for you? Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. I understand. Uh, Vale. Where the heck was that? Uh... I don't remember where that was. Oh, Wicked Veil? Vale. This one? Okay. True Vision. Let's try this one. Hmm. I'm guessing we're fighting a boss, though. At least that's what I think is gonna happen. Will it be a, a house with the legs? I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Search the veil for the witch. Only enough for two doses. Got to make them count. Well, I'm not the one controlling <laughs> the dosage, so you take it when you want. It's working, Nadia. Everything looks normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa, if we find him. 
I'm on my way to meet you now. Right on. Hopefully I don't have to kill Grandpa. Scarecrows, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, they were like skulls turning before, weren't they? Fucked up. Might as well just see what the note is. I'm not too fast with the notes this anymore. Trinity gear. It's all wrong. Oh. Lost the old man entering the veil. Lost Fisher. Lost Parker. Just gone. No trace. <sighs> Can't trust the eyes. Seeing things. Corpses. Worse. Things that walk. So huge they hide the stars. <sighs> Can't tell what's real. Not sure there is a real. Is it the eyes? The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! The eyes, bravo's end. They were unprepared for what they found. Yeah, I mean, who could be? It last time. No bodies, though. Maybe they're still alive in here. Oh, that's Nadia, wishful thinking. What do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, her people avoided the veil. Oh. The founders were building a shrine out there. Oh, I killed all the dogs. Sorry, wolves. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real. When the oh, sorry. <laughs> working in the gulag became too strong, I would lash out. A stolen screwdriver, misplaced paperwork, futile gestures that would never balance the scales. One day, I was caught taking a stupid risk. Your grandmother, Serafima, she spoke up took the blame. They beat her. Mercilessly. But I was saved. When I found a moment to thank her, she spat at my feet. Told me I had risked my life for nothing. Challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. She gave me no credit for my little acts of disobedience. That place, the gulag, it... it crushed hope and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day I did not fight it with my whole heart, she said. I was complicit in atrocity. She demanded my honesty because she knew I was capable. It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. Meeting Serafima, Grandfather's Journal. Uh, Ivan describes meeting Serafima for the first time in the Gulag. Still deadly. Sounds like a super lady. Okay. Let's hope the witch is actually here. Oh boy. I'm up on the first of the ruins now. This doesn't look like a shrine. This was something functional. I see ropes and wooden gears. The founders built lifts elsewhere in the valley to move people or supplies between the peaks, but they've all fallen apart now. That has got to be what it is. See if you can make your way up to the top. I'll be right there. All right, I think we've got a little puzzle. Now. I'll let you know when I've arrived. Sure thing. It's dark. The others are out there. I can hear them panting. Moment of clarity, but it's slipping. Coming less frequently. We're sick, poisoned, something. Doesn't matter. Forgot why we came here. Forgot where we were before. Barely remember who I am. Someone else here, walking amongst us as we grovel and weep. A spirit, a goddess, a demon. She is whispering. We listen, listen. Demon in the dark, Bravo's end. The pollen drove them mad, and then she revealed herself. Spooky. All right, puzzle. Does this just need to be level? Like something like that, maybe. Ah, it's on a timer, is it? Is that staying put? No, I don't think it stays put. Hang on, hang on. I might be able to just... Let's do that. Hang on, it'll balance. Yeah. Huh. 
Will that move it if I do that? No. Hang on. Just cut it. Cut it. Let's try that. I'm not even sure what I'm doing at the moment. I better look around first. Oh, it's just a... Is that just a collectible? Yeah. Pick it up, you might as well. It is my great honor to have been given the responsibility of overseeing the construction of a shrine to the Apostles, out in the Far Vale. The site is on the very borders of our newly founded city, through a distant canyon. The natural waterfalls and geothermal springs grant us an amazing opportunity to use our combined knowledge to create a place of solemn worship and reflection that glorifies not only the memory of the Apostles, but also our own recent advances in construction. Already we have outpaced the empire we left behind. We will arrive in the morning and break ground on a shrine to honor our past and the future of our city. Best laid plans, the lost engineers. The, founder, the founders planned to build a great shrine in the, va the Vale, sorry, the Valley. All right, well, that wasn't particularly useful. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, oops. Yeah, I should look at what I'm doing first before I do anything. Uh, just do that, please. Come on, touch it. Hopefully that's sufficient. We'll see though. Maybe I can connect this to something. It's my mistake for pressing Q. Maybe I can connect this to something. Sorry, that was rude of me. I've already talked about how annoying that is, so I'm not gonna talk about it again. This might be on a timer too, I'm not sure. Better run. I guess that's a yes. Oh god, what are you doing? I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I have to I have to change it. Hang on. I think I have to change this one. Wait, 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 wait. At least I think I do. Maybe. Okay, I think I get it. Hang on. I think. I'm pretty sure this does need to be changed. Something like that will do. Okay. Then I can climb this rope? Yes, good. Using my brain. Like a pro. Oh, what are you doing? Come on. Don't have a lot of time here. I probably could have leveled that out a bit better, but I'll just try anyways. Oh, I just missed it. I think I'll just I'll just fix it a little bit more. Damn it. It's not as leveled as it could be. Hang on. Uh, that's the right thing though. There you go. Okay. I'm Goodness. Come on up there. Just behind you. Don't go anywhere without me. 
the insist. What this do? Oh. Look at that! The witch has kept the lift running all this time. It looks like she even made a few improvements, but I don't think those ropes will survive many more trips. It only no. needs to make one. Two. I'd like to come back down. Eventually. I guess. Who needs that? Okay, it's a weird looking gondola. Ah, uh, ride the gondola. Try pulling that lever over on the platform. Maybe it'll get us moving. Sure. <laughs> Last ride of the witch house, just the achievement popped up. Maybe there wasn't ever a witch. I mean, probably not. Your witch is clever. Everything in this veil is arranged to perpetuate the myth of Baba Yaga, and the pollen does the rest. The last time I saw the lift, it looked nothing like this. What did you see? Just as the legend says, a house walking on giant bird legs, but without the pollen, it's just an old contraption. I'm sorry. I was so sure of Grandpa's story. She's Russian, someone who knew the myth well. Nadia, it's possible that your grandfather will know who she is. He was a prisoner in the Gulag, you said. I didn't say that. Not exactly. Grandpa was a guard. My grandmother was the prisoner. She was a brilliant scientist, and they brought her out to the Vale to help study something in the ruins. But then the witch came. Grandpa never forgave himself. Killing the witch won't bring her back, but I understand. Let's just hope we can reach him in time. Okay, I think we're getting pretty close to the end here. At least, hopefully. Are we... Stalic? Oh no, it's still moving. Alright, I think that's it. Cool. Oh, do I need to wait for Nadia? Or are you just gonna chill out there? Whatever. You can do what you want. Nadia, come quick! Oh! It's actually him? Nadia? Oh! Uh, it, it's the pollen. Here, let me. Grandpa, can you hear me? I tried. I couldn't save her. I tried. Shh, it's okay now. I'll stay with him, Laura. It's time. You only have one more dose remaining. Make it uh -oh. count. Okay. Show me what you got. Uh, sure. Use the campfire quickly. Oh, you don't have any more stories? I guess that's fine. I'm just getting whatever. I don't really mind at this point. But if there's going to be a fight, however, I will be prepared. Or at least try to be. Okay, that's fine. We can leave her outfit. I only just changed it anyways. Okay. Pretty sure I saw a note as well. We decided to wait until winter passed. We hid supplies. We made maps. We planned. I got her a work detail indoors. She helped me find ways to slow the grinding gears of the Gulag. If I could disable a hydraulic lift, I could keep a hundred men from one day in the mines. Cut the wiring of a few trucks. There would be no special work projects for another week. I took greater risks, but once I had met your grandmother, I could not return to the sin of ignorance. We knew that the child would complicate our escape, and she hid it as long as she could. And then, without warning, they took her away. Our daughter was given to a nursemaid among the native prisoners, and they dragged Serafima away to the Vale. I tried to stop them, fighting in the open. I stood in front of the transport truck, prepared to kill to save her. But there were too many of them. I screamed my farewell as they dragged me away. And I don't know if she heard. 
Taking risks, grandfather's journal. Ivan and Serafima planned to escape together, but they were caught. Well, being pregnant does complicate things. All right, they don't, it doesn't look like they want to chit chat, so why don't we just go she in? She has to be inside. This is it. Yeah, I go, but first, we got more notes. Oh, they're giving us a lot of ammo. Her. <laughs> always been her. At the margins, in the dark, always there. She, she is what we came here for. We just didn't know it until now. She is the center of the world. She can make the fog swirl and choke our minds. She can give us clarity. She spoke her name, Baba Yaga, and our wounds healed. With another word, she split us open again. We are nothing, and we are hers. We will do as she commands. We were made for this. The witch's army, the Bravo's end. Oh, Bravo's end, sorry. She broke them down and built them back up to serve her. Oh God, what has she done to them? Ugh. Yeah, there's a lot of ammo here, so... <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> we're gonna fight. Oh. Uh-oh. Are we hallucinating again? No. I need that last antidote. Oh, what? Time? This is the last of it. Oh, no! No! Balls. Quickly, just lick it off the ground. When you are dead, you too shall serve. Uh, faith rich, okay. They're just men. You can do this. Yeah, huh? Ah, fuck your camera. <sighs> okay. Uh, so obviously this is here. Do I have to hit her or...? Damn it, I need to open the thing. Ugh. You guys need to fuck off. I know what I have to do, it's pretty clear. But it's just when she's spawning dudes it makes it very difficult. Alright, so you can't just shoot her. Okay. Handy. Also, I'm actually kind of low on pistol ammo. Stay in your hole. That's probably good enough. No, oh, no, no, fucking, <sighs> not pick it up. It's because it's the same button, right? Oh, can I not use? Oh, I can't use this one anymore. That's why it's like that. Fine. Okay, uh, I just trust you. Oh, where is the... How do I make this go, actually? Hang on, I need to figure out how to open this first before I do anything. Is it just this one? I hope it's just that one. Frustrating. It's not too bad, though. I just need to look at my surroundings first before I did anything. It's my fault. Oh, 
Oh dear. Uh-huh. Someone give me pistol ammo. Thank you. Uh-oh. Huh. Oh, that's a lot of ammo. Oh, I thought that was highlight. It was just, it's just a carpet. Uh, uh, oh. Is this, is this a thing? Yeah? Dead yet? All right. I think we just have to keep following her. Maybe. It's because I can't use that again. Now I'm just picking up everything. Oh, this way. All right. This might be the last bit. I hope. What am I doing up here? That way? Oh, pick that up. I really need more explosive stuff. Can interact with it is. Oh. You can do this. Got to stay focused. Do I? What is even happening? You want me to jump onto these, don't you, game? <sighs> this is normal. Sit down. Uh. Oh, dear. oh, there it is. Oh, that's not correct. Hang on. <laughs> All the way around. Now, before she gets back up, Stay right there. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite. How many more explosions do you need? Laura, Laura, can you hear me? Bit busy at the moment. Uh huh. Grandpa's awake. He says, he says it's her, Laura. The witch is my grandmother. She's alive. Figures. Please, you, you can't. 
Maybe we can get through to her. We have to try. I'll do what I can, but we have to end this, Nadia. Okay. Oh dear, where do I need to go from here? I'm just thinking. Oh, why am I doing that? Hang on, I wasn't supposed to do that. I just wanted to hit her. Can make it. Gets explained later. It probably does. Oh. Just thinking. Oh, do you want to stay in your hole? Please tell me you can reach that. Anybody else? Good. Give me a grandma. Okay. Hey, stop it. That'll do. I know who you are. I can only imagine what you've gone through to stay alive. <laughs> you have no idea. It's over now. You don't have to live like this anymore. Serafima. But you died. They, they told me you died. Will she be all right? I don't know. But it won't be easy for any of you. Family never is. Oh, I know. I know. Thank you, Laura, for everything. I'm just chuckling at the, the claws. <laughs> Jeez, Grandma, you got a little crazy. All right, I think that's it. Are we good here? Defeat the witch? <laughs> Mission complete, good. All right, I think that's the end of the DLC. At least I think it is. Uh, Dream Stinger. Oh, okay, so I got some gear from that. Pollen arrows, your Dream Stinger now infuse. Oh, bow infuses your poison arrows with hallucinogenic pollen, sowing confusion and terror amongst your enemies. Well, that would have been fun to use previously. And a wraith skin. But yeah, truth behind the myth. Sounds like it's done. That's nice. I, I figured Grandpa would be dead, but it sounds like he's good. Why don't we just take a look? Let's just have a look. Nadia's grandparents oh, you wanted to chit chat too? Reunited. They all have a long and arduous road ahead. Seraphina wore the mask of the witch for so long. I don't know if she will ever be able to fully return to the world. And Yvonne dreamed of killing the witch to get revenge for his lost love, but they were the same woman all along. That wound he nursed for decades won't heal overnight. They're survivors. We all are. But it will be difficult. It will feel impossible some days, I know. At least they'll have a fighting chance now that we know the truth. It may not be enough, but it's a good start. You done talking? Okay. So that is the end of the DLC. I just wanted to check out what we unlocked. We've got 
an interesting bow, which unfortunately I'm not really going to get much use out of since I've already beaten the the main game, but should change the poison arrows. Yeah, it's definitely a different color. That would have been cool to use, but I can always go back and do my own extra stuff if I wanted to. Alright guys, so we are actually going to finish up Rise of the Tomb Raider right now. DLC, awesome addition to the game. Um, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, I thought that the content in the DLC was some of, like, one of the best, like, content for the game, or at least just as good as the main game, in my opinion. The whole sequence where she, uh, sorry, the whole sequence where Lara was hallucinating for the first time was actually really good, and I actually thought that was one of my favorite bits in this game ever, so surprise, surprise, it's a DLC, though. Um, that being said, it was only about an hour's worth of content, so is it worth the money? I don't even know how much the DLC was, but I wouldn't pay maybe a couple of dollars for the DLC. It would have been great if it was just integrated into the main game, because I feel like this would have been a great addition um, to Rise of the Tomb Raider. It was it's an interesting choice that it turned out to be a DLC, because I thought it was really, really good. The only thing, obviously, what I said is that it's probably not worth... It's not... I think it's $15 Australian for the DLC, something like that, and I don't think an hour's worth of content is worth $15. So if you want to play the DLC, get it on sale. Other than that, it was good, and funnily enough, that boss sequence with the witch, I thought that boss, sequ that boss sequence was better than fighting Constantine. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was an excellent addition, but anyways, I've th I think I've said everything I wanted to say in the previous video and this video as well. And I'm happy to close the book on Rise of the Tomb Raider. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. I really appreciate the support. I'm on a few different social media platforms. The links are in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.